There are lots of claims floating around out there about which credit card is the best, but I'm not seeing a lot of evidence. Lucky for you, I'm a huge spreadsheet nerd. I went down the rabbit hole, so you don't have to. This is the third video of my credit card series. We're gonna look at which American Express credit card is the best at different spending levels and at different spending types. For instance, are you spending money dining out or are you buying groceries to eat at home? Different spending habits will make a difference when it comes to which credit card is the best for you. Let's get into it. Here we have the American Express credit card spreadsheet. Along this left-hand side, this is section one one where we go over all of the seven different American Express credit cards. You can see as I scroll down, there we have all seven of the different credit cards. The second section is the user profile section where you can include or exclude different annual bonuses or types of spending that are either applicable to you or not applicable. For each category, you put a one if the item applies to you, put a zero if it does not. All of these different categories are gonna correspond to different credits and bonuses available for each of the different credit cards. To start, we're gonna put a one in all the categories that will just be our default user profile so we can see the different bonuses that all the credit cards have. The third section shows different spending levels along with the different categories of spending that make up that spending level as well as the different American Express credit cards with the points that you get from each spending level. Below the user profile category we've got the spending categories. This top row shows the different spending levels and each spending level has different spending categories. The average American spends about about $19,000 on their credit card every year. And here I have filled out the average spending for all the different categories. Below that, you can see the amount of points that each credit card gets at the different spending levels. The $19,000 spending category corresponds to this row here. You can see with the default user profile, the American Express card is getting $1,426 worth of points. But later on, we will change the user profile to match different profiles of spenders. Further down in this third section, I've also included a graphical view if you prefer to see which cards are on top and how they increase in points as the spending level increases. The Y column here corresponds to the number of points each card is getting. The X axis here corresponds to the amount of dollars you spend in the year. And then here we have all the different credit cards color coded. We're going to start doing the credit card overview now. We're going to look at credit card one, which is the platinum credit card. This is the big dog of the American Express credit cards. You can see it has the biggest annual fee, $695. Let me back up a bit. We've got two columns here, the annual column and the year one column. The year one column adds up all the points and all the value that you get in year one only. So you can see there's only one item that only applies to the year one, and that is the sign up bonus. The year one column is used to determine how much value you're going to get if you want to churn the credit cards, but more on that later. For now, we're mainly going to focus on this annual column. The total of the annual column is how much money you can expect to get before you factor in the points that you get from spending just from the annual fee and the annual bonuses that you get. Now, when I brought up the user profile section earlier, that is where you can remove or include these different bonuses here. For instance, you could remove the Uber credit if you're not big on Uber. You could remove the digital credit if you don't use streaming services. If you're not taking trips every year, you can remove the annual hotel credit. As for the sign up bonus, in order to get the $800 worth of points, you have to spend $8,000 on your credit card in the first six months. With most credit cards, you have to hit the spending goal within the first three months. So the American Express Platinum card has a little bit more flexibility, giving you six months to hit it. This bottom section here shows the different points that you get from spending. All purchases get you at least one point per dollar spent. If you're spending money on hotels, you also get five points per dollar spent. Keep in mind, this Uber credit is not $200 towards rides. It is $200 towards your Uber membership. Same with the Walmart Plus. This is $155 towards the Walmart Plus membership. Lounge access refers to airport airport lounges. Personally, whenever I go to the airport, I like to get there early and get something to eat. This is a perfect bonus for me because I love having access to the airport lounge. This is a $25 value. Every time you go to the lounge, you get free food, free drink. You can even bring out food for your family. So moving on to credit card number two, the American Express Gold. The American Express Gold has a smaller annual fee than the American Express Platinum, only $250. You still get the Uber credit. You also get a dining credit if you're going out to eat. You get a hotel credit if you spend money on a hotel. It has a slightly smaller sign up bonus, $600 value. But where this card really shines over the platinum card is the additional points that you get on these spending categories. You get four points per dollar spent on restaurants and four points per dollar spent on groceries. These categories really apply to me. I spend way more money on restaurants and groceries than I do on lights and hotels. Now we're going to credit card three, the American Express green card. It has an even smaller annual 
annual fee, only $150. We get a clear plus annual bonus. Clear plus allows you to get through the lines at the airport faster. This is a membership fee. I already use global entry. So this is not an annual bonus that I would utilize. Here we have the lounge credit once again and a hotel credit if you're going on a trip every year. The sign up bonus is smaller than the previous two at $400. And because you have that lower annual fee, you're also getting ding on the points that you get from spending. You only get three points per dollar spent on dining. You no longer get the groceries, but you do get three points spent on transit. This would not be the card for me since I do not spend money on public transit. Next up are the credit cards four and five, the two blue cash cards. The blue cash preferred has a $95 annual fee. You get a Disney credit and an Equinox credit. The blue cash preferred card does have a higher annual fee, but you get a little bit better points per dollar spent. You get six points for groceries, six points per dollar spent on streaming, and then three points on gas and transit. If you're big into buying groceries instead of dining out, this blue cash preferred card might be really good for you. If we scroll down a bit to the blue cash everyday card, you can see the annual fee is zero. You get a Disney credit of $84 and a home chef membership credit. Blue cash everyday card also gets a little sign up bonus, $200. Uh, you can see it gets dinged on these points. You only get three points spent per dollar on online purchases and three points on groceries. The American Express credit cards get more random bonuses than I've seen on any other credit card. Let me know in the comments if you think you would be able to utilize these. I don't think I would. The final two credit cards we're going to look at are the Amex credit cards. First, we have the Amex Everyday Preferred Credit Card. It has an annual fee of $95, small sign up bonus of $150 when you hit your spending. This one has an interesting bonus. You get a 50% point bonus. The points that you get for the month get increased by 50% if you make 30 transactions on your card in that month. If this was my primary credit card, I think I would be able to hit that pretty easily. But if you're utilizing multiple credit cards, then this is a bonus that you'd probably want to cancel out on the user profile section. The Amex Everyday card has an annual fee of zero, slightly smaller sign up bonus. And of course, it gets fewer points per dollar spent and a smaller end of the month bonus. Just 20% of your points get added if you're able to hit 30 transactions on your credit card. Next, we're going to do a little spending levels overview. Let's go ahead and scroll over and look at the different spending levels and spending categories. First, let's check out which credit card comes out on top at this default user profile. We've just got a one in all the categories, Clear Plus, Airport Dining, One Trip Per Year, One Traveler. The only one we're going to have a zero in is this first year only. You'd put a one in the first year only category if you were going to analyze which card is best for churning. More on that later. We're going to scroll down past these different spending levels. We've already gone over the different breakdowns as the average spending increases. Entertainment spending goes up. Same with dining, same with groceries. Let's scroll down to the comparison section. If you're spending $10,000 per year, there's virtually a tie between the American Express Platinum and the Blue Cash every day. However, as we start to spend more money per year, you can see the Blue Cash preferred card will start to pull ahead because it gets superior points per dollar spent. So at $23,000 spent, the Blue Cash preferred has moved ahead of the American Express Platinum, but it hasn't quite caught up to the Blue Cash every day. That's because the Blue Cash every day card does not have an annual fee while the Blue Cash Preferred does. So it's going to require more spending to overtake the Blue Cash every day. If we skip ahead to $58,000 on your credit card every year, you can see that the Blue Cash Preferred comes out on top by a pretty good margin. Thanks for staying with me this long. My goal is to help you make more money and save more money. If you find this content valuable, please give me a like and subscribe down below. It really helps with the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. The next user profile I want to look at is somebody who's very frugal. You're going to put a zero in all these categories. You're not going to hotels. You're not spending money on streaming or Uber. You don't use Home Chef or Equinox. Let's see which credit card comes out on top for somebody who is very frugal. At the $10,000 per year spending, the American Express Platinum is looking pretty rough. You are losing $575 just for having this card. You have a huge annual fee and you're not using any of the bonuses. You're not spending enough for the points to take an effect. This card is horrible. At $10,000 per year spent, the Blue Cash Everyday card is the card for you, followed by the Blue Cash Preferred. If you're closer to average spending $19,000 per year or $23,000 per year. Once again, the American Express Platinum is not going to work out for you. The Blue Cash Preferred card is now coming out on top. If we skip to the end, $58,000 spent per year. The Blue Cash Preferred is way out on top. The Blue Cash Everyday card is just behind. This is because the Blue Cash Preferred gets you tons of points on groceries and dining. If you're not traveling, then the American Express Platinum and Gold are just not really going to work out that well for you. You're going to want to stick with the Blue Cash preferred. The next user profile that we're going to look at is the bougie spender. They're taking three trips per year, family of four. They're going to utilize all the bonuses. Let's scroll down to the comparison section and see which credit card comes out on top.
top. It doesn't make sense to analyze the bougie spender at these lower spending levels. So let's go ahead and skip up to the $23,000 spent on your credit card per year. Because of the really good annual bonuses that the American Express Platinum gets, it's going to come out on top if you're spending anywhere from $23,000 to $40,000 per year on your credit card. However, once you start spending up to $48,000 and $58,000, the Blue Cash Preferred card does overtake the American Express Platinum because of the superior points per dollar spent. At those really high spending categories, you just cannot beat the Blue Cash Preferred credit card. Next user profile is going to be the credit card churner. We're going to put a one in this first year category only. That way, the sign up bonus will be factored into the comparison down below. If you're churning credit cards, what that means is you're going to open up a credit card. You're going to take advantage of those year one annual bonuses and the sign up bonuses to get huge value. And then you're going to either cancel the card or downgrade it to a lesser free card before that next year annual fee hits. I personally recommend downgrading to a free credit card instead of canceling because it's going to be better for your credit score. All right, if you're going to churn the American Express credit cards and you're only spending about $10,000 per year, the American Express Platinum, surprise, surprise, it's going to be the best credit card for churning. I think that was pretty obvious since this credit card just gets the most bonuses on sign up all the way down to the $58,000 category. You're still getting the most points in that first year from the American Express Platinum because of that massive sign up bonus. Not even the Blue Cash Referred card is able to catch up from its superior points per dollar spent. That massive sign up bonus is just too much to overtake. If we look at the graphical representation, you can see at a glance that the American Express Platinum is on top at all spending levels. However, due to this trajectory of this red card here, the American Express Gold, it does look like maybe out here at $65,000, $70,000 spent per year, maybe that American Express Gold would overtake the American Express Platinum eventually. Next, I want to show you my personal user profile. I put a zero in the clear plus category because I already use global entry. I will be taking advantage of airport dining. You Usually my wife and I take two trips per year. That's two travelers. We will stay in a hotel. We do use streaming services. We'll take advantage of the airline credit, the dining credit. We don't use Equinox or Home Chef, but I do think we would be able to hit 30 credit card uses per month. So we'll have a one in that category. And I don't use Walmart Plus or Disney. So let's see which credit card is best for me. My wife and I usually end up pretty close to average spending. So we're going to see which credit card is best for both the $19,000 and $23,000 spent per year, the blue cash per preferred card is going to come out on top. Clearly, I don't take advantage of enough of the annual bonuses for the American Express Platinum. The Amex Everyday Preferred and the American Express Gold are pretty close second options. Really, I could go with any of those three and have pretty good results. However, the Blue Cash Preferred does come out on top. We scroll down a bit. You can see the graphical representation. At the absolute lowest spending levels, the American Express Green Card comes out on top. But right here, around $17,000, there's a pretty big shift where the Blue Cash Preferred is able to overtake those less cards and it really stays on top until you get to these much higher spending categories. The Blue Cash Preferred card stays on top until around $30,000 spent. If we were spending that much, then the Amex Everyday Preferred card would eventually overtake the rest. Next, I'm going to look at my personal churning profile. If I were going to churn a credit card, all I would do is I would add a one into this category. I would keep all my other spending profiles the same. Let's scroll down to the comparison sections. Surprisingly enough, at $23,000 spent per year and above, the American American Express Gold actually comes out on top for me. And that's because I'm not able to utilize a lot of those annual bonuses that the American Express Platinum offers. However, at the lower spending levels, the American Express Platinum does come out on top because of that $800 bonus. Keep in mind, in order to get that, you have to spend $8,000 in the first six months. So if you're only spending $10,000, $14,000 a year, you're probably not going to be able to hit that naturally. At my personal spending level, these cards could really go either way. If I had to pick one, I would go with the American American Express Gold Card because it has a lower annual fee and it has better points per dollar spent. If we scroll down to the graphical representation, the American Express Gold Card really takes off at these higher spending levels. If I'm spending more than I think, clearly the American Express Gold Card is going to be the safer pick. As you can see, it is crucial to compare different credit cards at the spending level that most closely matches your own. Not only that, the type of spending you do will also have a huge impact. In this case, prioritizing dining out versus buying groceries or taking a couple trips per year can make all the difference as to which credit card is best for you. If you like my spreadsheet tool and would like to use it, I have included a link in the description below where you can download it for free. Also, if you're interested in seeing this comparison for other credit card companies, check out the other two videos in this series on Capital One and Chase. In those videos, I go over different spending levels and user profiles as well. Until next time.